Hello guys, today we'll be talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So this has to do with, you know, um, the MCU, um, specifically, um, so, as you all know, the MCU's gained its Phase 4, and here is, uh, why well, I think Phase 4 will be the worst selling of the MCU story. So we got the highest grossing movies of all time. You can look at the movies by phase, but it was a wrong world, um, for some reason. Um, will it world? There we go. So the highest grossing oh a uh, uh, movies of all time. You can look at the highest grossing movie franchises of all time. But you can see here the I the but uh, you know uh, first of all, this phase will be the world's grossing phase. Yes, even more than phase one. Phase one only made three point one billion dollars at the box office and these are all the other franchises that still have, you know, movies coming in. Uh, Batman has been up into the top 10 because of Joker. DC Extended Universe did not get a boost because, um, Joker is not, Joker is a not part of the DCE. And the, these, these numbers are actually behind, it's actually on $851 billion. Worldwide and Spider-Man. Well, in the Fast and the Furious. And... First of all, is usually after an epic finale of a, we haven't had any, any massive universe of a movie series ever, okay? We haven't seen a massive movie series ever. Um, the closest thing to a, the MCU is Star Wars and, um, Harry Potter and stuff like that, but we never really had a cinematic universe. We had movies go away and come back. Closest we had to a cinematic universe is both Star Wars and Star Trek, which had movies and of course James Bond. Okay. Why well, I think Phase 4 will be the lowest grossing phase in the entire series. And Spider-Man Far From Home was always said to be a first film of Phase 4, but it changed the face last film of Phase 3. Yeah, it's not, it isn't. It's Phase 3. So, Spider-Man Far From Home is not Phase 4. And it's the shortest phase of all. There's only 6 movies coming out. I think the highest grossing movie of the franchise will probably be Black Widow. Because, if you look at the original Avengers, Black Widow is one of the original Avengers, and people have been asking for a Black Widow movie for the longest time. Second would probably be Spider-Man 3, because he, cause everybody loves Spider-Man, is very popular. Um, these are the only two movies that I think will probably be the highest grossing movies. And then number three will be Doctor Strange because he's recognizable. And number four will be Sing C because it's China. And number five will be Four of Thunder because four is still at least recognizable. And last place will be the Eternals. And how will be the world selling phase in the MCU, you may ask. Okay, uh, 3.1 billion is a very low bow to pass. But Phase, it has the same amount of movies as Phase 1 and Phase 2. Phase 3 had 11 movies. Um, they really stressed out Phase 3. Um, and, and, especially if you these movies for a phase, and these two phases did exactly alike. Okay. Very much alike, okay. So I think Spider-Man and Black Widow will grow some um, $1 billion at the box office at the bare minimum. So two billion dollars. Um Saint C around six hundred million to so two point six million. Yeah. Doctor Strange and now five hundred million, so three point one million and the Eternals are four of them for the four four hundred million and three hundred million. So that'll be less in phase one. I don't think that'll be the case, but I think it'll do worse in phase two, so I think no, I think Spider Man will be the highest goal scene of this phase. And number four. The, and the next reason why is you killed off all the characters that people like, okay? 
You killed off Iron Man. You killed off him. Um, yeah, you got rid of Captain America. Got rid of Ford and replaced it with a woman. Not him. No, him with a woman. Got rid of Hulk. Okay. They even gave him a second movie. They gave him even a second chance. You got rid of, you know, Black Widow. You killed her off. This is only a prequel. Okay. And. You, you, you got rid of, you know, um. Both Captain America and Iron Man. You got rid of the two defining characters of the MCU. People went to go see Endgame and Infinity War because of Iron Man, not because of Captain Marvel or Black Panther. Because of Iron Man and Captain America and Hulk and the original Avengers, okay? That's why they left them alive because that's, it was between them and Thanos, okay? It wasn't between Captain Marvel. So it was only in like 15 minutes of the movie, okay? And we're not going over the TV series because they're not coming out on feeders. Okay, how about the Peter movies here? Um, I actually think, um, that, um, that these, that this will be the war school scene. Oh, four is in the movie! <laughs> four is in this movie! And I don't think for I don't think phase four will do as well as the with the phases, okay. It's just a it first is that it, it, it will probably do well at the box office. We're gonna to have to see, but I think phase four will be the lowest grossing phase in the MCU. Probably it'll break records. It'll be even phase one. It'll probably be ahead of phase one and between phase two. But phase four is a middle phase, so that's basically about phase four. Um, phase five. Well, and they made they could have made phase four longer. They could have Miss Marvel. <laughs> Miss Marvel, I gotta see this. Miss Marvel is literally. Oh, that's because they so. I. Oh yeah, such a great superhero. It's really a flag of Pakistan. Yeah, such a you know. Great superhero we have though. You know it's a flag. He he he. Oh yeah, flag is here to save the day. Goodbye.